I'm Liz Bradley from the University of Colorado and also the Santa Fe Institute, where we're standing today. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about a course that I'm going to be offering on the Complexity Explorer website this year. And it's about nonlinear dynamics. If you want to understand the world, how the world works, or if you want to design things that fit into the world, you need to understand nonlinear dynamics. Dynamics is the mathematics of evolution, how things move, how they change, how they grow. That ranges from how something falls, to how an airplane takes off, to how planets move through the solar system. Most of the mathematics that people learn in high school and college makes the assumption of linearity. That is, the relationships between the variables that matter are linear. There's a line, a linear relationship. Uh, that is, there are no curves or jumps in those relationships. And that assumption does not hold for most of the systems in the universe. Rather, most of those systems are what's called nonlinear. And a good example is the gas gauge in your car. When you drive 100 miles and the needle barely moves, and then you drive another 50 miles and the needle plummets, that's a nonlinear relationship. That kind of relationship makes the mathematics much harder. It also can make the behavior much more interesting and much richer. Here's an example of a chaotic system. It's a double pendulum, two pieces of aluminum and four ball bearings. Even though the system is very simple, physically, the behavior is surprisingly complicated. Moreover, this behavior is sensitively dependent on initial conditions. If I start the device here or here, two initial conditions that are very similar, the future evolution of the state of the device will be very different. Now, even though there's sensitive dependence on initial conditions and small changes can have large effects, there are patterns to this kind of behavior. Those patterns are very pronounced if you look at them with the right set of glasses. In this course, you'll learn what all that means. And computers will be intimately involved with that. Remember I said nonlinear dynamics was hard. Part of how we get around that hardness is by using computers to help us solve the equations. Here's another wonderful example of nonlinear dynamics in action. This is a movie made by a camera on the spacecraft Cassini as it went by Saturn's moon, Hyperion. Hyperion tumbles chaotically because of its unusual shape. The mathematics of nonlinear dynamics explains this. It also tells us that almost all of the satellites in the solar system did this in the past, including the Earth. What's really amazing to me about chaos, nonlinear dynamics and chaos, is that this kind of behavior is universal. Satellites, hearts, population dynamics, weather, all of these systems act the same in the throes of chaos. This course is about all those ideas and the mathematics that underpins them and the computer techniques that we use to help with that mathematics. And I hope that you will join us as we explore all of that.